before you begin, ensure you're wearing all the appropriate safety equipment. You will need help from another person. The tools you'll need are a Phillips head screwdriver, long nose pliers, a vacuum cleaner, and a small brush. Ensure you have the correct replacement roller. To replace a roller, you'll need to remove the sliding panel. The panel may need to be lowered via the adjustment screws before you can remove it. They are located at the bottom of each end of the sliding panel. If your door is an essential or signature door, lift the panel slightly to make it easier to turn the adjustment screws. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, turn the screws anti-clockwise. For commercial doors, remove the black plastic plugs. You'll find two screws. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, rotate the bottom screw anti-clockwise. Remember to lift the panel slightly while rotating the adjustment screws. Standing on the inside, open the sliding panel about halfway. Lift the panel, tilt its bottom towards you and the other person and out over the track. Carefully move the panel downwards to remove it from the door. Gently rest it on the floor, ensuring you have access to the rollers. Use long nose pliers to remove the damaged roller. Insert the new roller, ensuring it's rolling freely. Repeat with other rollers if required. Before putting back the sliding panel, clean the track with a vacuum cleaner and a small brush. Return the sliding panel into the door by reversing step four. Don't forget to put back the black plastic plugs for commercial sliding doors. You've now successfully replaced a Bradnam sliding door roller.